Geographical structures on Earth are one of the significant factors that have shaped humanity's journeys, trade, and cultural interactions throughout history. Particularly, straits located at strategic points in seas and oceans are among the most remarkable examples of these geographical structures. These narrow passages, located at the intersections of geography, and often connecting two large bodies of water, stand out on the world stage not only for their natural beauty but also for their geopolitical and economic importance. Straits located in different parts of the world not only bring together geographical boundaries but also cultural and historical interactions. For example, the Bosporus in Istanbul occupies a unique position connecting the continents of Asia and Europe, while the Panama Canal revolutionized maritime trade by linking Central and South America. However, the significance of straits is not limited to their geographical locations alone. These strategic passages form one of the main arteries of international trade and play a critical role in the transportation of energy resources. Additionally, the geopolitical tensions and international disputes in these regions have the potential to alter the course of world politics. The Strait of Gibraltar, situated between the southern tip of Spain, the Rock of Gibraltar, and the city of Ceuta in Morocco, is one such strait. This strait connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic Ocean. Approximately 14 kilometers in length, this strait holds a strategic position and has attracted the interest of many civilizations throughout history. Its width narrows to just 12.4 kilometers at its narrowest point, enhancing its strategic importance and making it a critical passage for maritime traffic. The average depth varies along the length of the Strait of Gibraltar, but generally ranges between 300 and 900 meters. The strategic route for ships wishing to transit between the Mediterranean and the Atlantic, the Strait of Gibraltar, has also been historically significant due to the presence of Gibraltar Island nearby. This island serves as a strategic military base and has been under the sovereignty of many nations throughout history. The strategic importance of the island is linked to the desire to control the strait. Therefore, the Strait of Gibraltar and its surroundings have been at the center of many wars and struggles throughout history. Since ancient times, the strategic importance of the Strait of Gibraltar has been recognized, and different maritime powers have strived to control it and establish bases here. Particularly ancient civilizations such as the Phoenicians, Carthaginians, and the Roman Empire struggled for control of this region. Throughout the Middle Ages, the Strait of Gibraltar served as a venue for disputes between Christians and Muslims. After the fall of the Umayyad Caliphate of Al-Andalus, the border between the Islamic world and Christian Europe shifted here. During this period, control of the strait was considered a strategic and military advantage. Especially in the 15th and 16th centuries, control of the Strait of Gibraltar became part of the competition among European naval powers. Spanish and Portuguese ships used this strait to transport wealth brought from the New World to Europe. Subsequently, England, the Netherlands, and other European states also showed interest in this region and established naval bases here. In the modern era, the strategic importance of the Strait of Gibraltar has not diminished. Particularly in the 19th century, naval battles between the British and the French occurred in this region, and efforts were made to control it. Today, it serves as an important route for international maritime trade. The port of Algeciras in southern Spain directs the traffic of this strait and facilitates trade between the Mediterranean and the Atlantic, being one of Europe's busiest ports. Additionally, the surroundings of the Strait of Gibraltar host rich marine life. While the Strait's waters provide a significant resource for the fishing industry, many marine creatures such as sea turtles, dolphins, and orcas also inhabit this area. Another significant region, the Strait of Magellan, is located at the southernmost tip of the South American continent. This geographical passage stretches between Patagonia in southern Argentina and Tierra del Fuego, also known as the Land of Fire, one of Chile's main islands. The strait connects the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean and is considered a strategic transit point on the world map. The geography of the strait is quite diverse, with high mountains and steep cliffs surrounding it. Especially, Tierra del Fuego Island has a mountainous and rugged structure, defining the strait's landscape and offering sailors a challenging navigation experience. Additionally, the surroundings of the Strait of Magellan are covered in glaciers. Cold currents from Antarctica cause extensive ice formations in this region, 
reducing the water temperature around the strait and influencing the region's climate. Another notable feature of the strait's geography is its narrow passages and wide bays. While these narrow passages constrict maritime journeys, the bays provide shelter for ships, offering natural harbors as safe havens for sailors. In terms of vegetation, forests and shrubs are found around the strait, providing an important habitat for the region's wildlife and enriching its natural beauty. The depth of the Strait of Magellan varies, generally ranging between 30 and 150 meters. However, in some areas, the depth can be greater. The strait is approximately 600 kilometers long, extending from the Patagonia region in southern Argentina to Cape Horn at the southern tip of Tierra del Fuego. At its narrowest point, the strait is approximately 2 kilometers wide, but in some areas, it can widen to up to 32 kilometers. This variability stems from the strait's geographical structure and impacts maritime activities. The discovery of the Strait of Magellan is a pivotal moment in maritime history and has played a significant role in shaping the world map. This strait, named after the Portuguese navigator and explorer Ferdinand Magellan, was discovered during his famous circumnavigation expedition between 1519 and 1522. Setting sail under the orders of the Spanish ruler King Charles II, Magellan was seeking a new sea route to the west and discovered this strait south of South America during his quest. Magellan's circumnavigation voyage marked a turning point in maritime history worldwide. Departing with five ships and 270 crew members, Magellan crossed the Atlantic Ocean and reached South America. There, he successfully navigated through a narrow passage to reach the Pacific Ocean. However, Magellan died during the expedition, leaving behind only one ship, the Victoria. Nevertheless, this ship completed the circumnavigation journey by returning to its starting point in 1522. The discovery of the Strait of Magellan contributed to the changing world map and the development of sea trade routes. By connecting the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, this strait proved the existence of a shorter sea route between the east and the west. This accelerated maritime trade from Asia to Europe and had significant impacts on the world economy. On the other hand, the Dardanelles Strait, located in the northwest of Turkey, is a strategic water passage and natural canal that connects the Marmara Sea to the Aegean Sea. The geographical features of the strait, along with its geological structure and location, have played a significant role throughout history. Geographically, the Dardanelles Strait is approximately 61 kilometers long and has a width of only 1.2 kilometers at its narrowest point. This narrowness enhances the strait's strategic importance, making it a critical passage for maritime traffic. Additionally, the depth of the strait varies, typically ranging between 50 and 120 meters. Geographically, the Dardanelles Strait is situated at the narrowest point separating Europe and Asia in Turkey. To the northwest of the strait lies the province of Kanakail, and to the southeast is the Gelibolu Peninsula, affiliated with the Kanakail province. Moreover, the north side of the strait represents the European continent, while the south side represents the Asian continent. Therefore, the Dardanelles Strait holds significant geographical and geopolitical importance. Throughout history, the Dardanelles Strait has attracted the interest of many civilizations and witnessed significant events due to its strategic importance. It has been a vital waterway since ancient times. Controlling the strait was of great importance for maritime trade and military mobility during the ancient Greek and Roman periods. Known as the Hellespont in ancient times, the Dardanelles formed the main waterway between Asia and Europe, providing a connection between the east and the west. It held great importance for trade and military mobility throughout history. During ancient Greek and Roman times, various fortresses were built to control this waterway, strengthening maritime trade and military power. Trade conducted through the Dardanelles became one of the most important trade routes in the ancient world. Additionally, the Dardanelles played a significant role in Homer's Iliad epic, with the city of Troy, the site of the Trojan War, located near the Dardanelles. The Trojan War is considered one of the most famous and influential wars of the ancient Greek period. During the Byzantine Empire, the Dardanelles Strait held strategic importance for the defense of Istanbul. The strait was part of the empire's main defensive line and was fortified with various castles and defense structures. In the Ottoman Empire period, the strategic importance of the Dardanelles Strait increased. 
The Ottomans constructed various castles to control the strait and prevent attacks from the Black Sea, aiming to protect Istanbul. One of these castles is Kilitbahir Castle, located in Kilitbahir village on the Anatolian side of the strait. It was built during the reign of Mem II. The castle was constructed to control the maritime traffic of the Ottoman navy and strengthen the defense of the strait. Kilitbahir Castle played a significant role during the Gallipoli campaign. On the European side of the strait lies Sadulbahir Castle, also built during the Ottoman Empire period. The Dardanelles Strait witnessed the historic Gallipoli campaign during World War I. In the Republic era, Turkey preserved the strategic importance of the Dardanelles Strait and modernized the region. Today, the Dardanelles Strait serves as a vital route for international maritime trade and plays a crucial role in Turkey's defense strategies. On the other hand, the Bering Strait holds significant geographical importance as a water passage separating North America from Asia. It is located west of Alaska and east of Siberia. Approximately 82 kilometers long, the strait narrows to about 85 kilometers at its narrowest point. This narrowness connects the Arctic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, forming a passage between the Northeast and Northwest Pacific. The depth of the Bering Strait varies in different regions, generally ranging from 50 to 100 meters. However, in some areas, the depth may be greater, while in others, shallower areas are present. This variation in depth is due to the strait's geological structure, underground volcanic activities, and the topographic features of the seabed. The geographical features of the Bering Strait are determined by the surrounding peninsulas and coastlines. In the west lies the Seward Peninsula of Alaska, and in the east lies Russia's Chukotka Peninsula. These regions form the terrestrial boundaries of the strait and determine its geopolitical significance. The geographical structure of the strait is a result of tectonic and volcanic activities in the region. With many active volcanoes, earthquakes and volcanic eruptions frequently occur in the area. The geology of the Bering Strait dates back to the Pleistocene period, the last glacial age. During the Pleistocene, which began approximately 2.6 million years ago and ended about 11,700 years ago, a series of glacial periods occurred worldwide. During this time, sea levels dropped globally, and vast land bridges emerged, including the land bridge known as Beringia between Asia and North America through the area that is now the Bering Strait. The climate of the region is quite cold, often covered in ice, especially during the winter months. The strait is a significant fishing area and is home to many marine animals, particularly salmon that migrate through these waters. The ecological features of the Bering Strait are also noteworthy, hosting a rich marine life including orcas, seals, and sea lions. Moreover, the region serves as an important source for the fishing industry, with many commercial fish species found in these waters. The Horma Strait is a strategic waterway in the Middle East, located between Iran and Oman. With its geographical position, it constitutes one of the most important maritime passages in the Middle East. The strait is approximately 55 kilometers long, extending between the Hormuzgan province in southeastern Iran and the Muzandam Peninsula in northeastern Oman. Therefore, the Hormuz Strait also forms the border between Iran and Oman. The coastlines of the Hormuz Strait are rugged and winding, especially notable with the Muzandam Peninsula, characterized by steep cliffs and rugged hills. Due to the mountainous terrain, ships navigating through the strait are constrained to a narrow waterway surrounded by high mountains. It lies to the east of the Gulf of Oman and northeast of the Persian Gulf. While the depth of the strait varies at different points, it generally exceeds 50 meters. However, this depth can fluctuate due to local topography, with some areas being shallower. The Hormuz Strait has been a significant maritime route since ancient times. During the Persian Empire period, this strait, connecting the Persian Gulf to the Sea of Oman, held strategic importance for trade and naval power. In ancient times, there were important port cities in this region. With the spread of Islam, the Hormuz Strait became an important sea route for the Islamic world. Muslims expanded their influence in the region through maritime trade and naval power. During the Islamic period, this area flourished with significant ports and trade centers. Throughout the Middle Ages, it remained under the control of the Persian Empire and later the Safavid Empire. 
However, with the expansion of the Ottoman Empire and the influence of European naval powers, maritime trade and strategic importance in the region increased. From the early 20th century onwards, the strategic importance of the Hormuz Strait further increased. Particularly, the discovery of oil and the development of oil trade transformed this strait into a critical route for global trade and energy security. During this period, strategic power balances in international relations had significant effects on the control of the Hormuz Strait. The climate in this region is characterized by high humidity. Monsoon winds and maritime influence contribute to the high humidity levels. High humidity supports the development of vegetation on the islands and coastal areas surrounding the strait. The region around the Hormuz Strait generally experiences high temperatures. During the summer months, temperatures often exceed 40 degrees Celsius. Winters, however, have milder temperatures. The location of the Hormuz Strait is of vital importance for trade routes and energy shipments in the region. The strait is one of the main routes for transporting a significant portion of the world's oil, thus holding strategic importance for ensuring international trade and energy security. Especially, oil from OPEC member countries such as Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, and Iraq reaches world markets by passing through the Hormuz Strait. Another significant point is the Istanbul Strait, a unique waterway located in Turkey's Marmara region, separating the continents of Europe and Asia. This strait connects the Black Sea to the north and the Sea of Marmara to the south, dividing the city of Istanbul into two continents. Being a natural passage, this geographical formation has drawn people's attention for centuries and has played a significant role in trade, transportation, and strategic importance throughout history. The length of the strait is approximately 30 kilometers, and its width drops to about 700 meters at its narrowest point. Passing through this narrow point between Rumilai Fortress and Anatolian Fortress has historically provided a strategic advantage and has been the subject of contention for control over Istanbul. The deepest point of the strait is near the Sea of Marmara, around Yenikoy Cape on the western coast. In this region, the depth of the strait generally exceeds 50 meters. However, this depth can increase even further at some points. In the area known as the narrowest point of the strait, located between Rumilai Fortress and Anatolian Fortress, the depth averages over 40 meters. In this narrow area, where the surface area of the strait narrows, the depth can increase. The vicinity of the Istanbul Strait was an important area during the ancient Greek period. Greek colonists settled around the strait, which served as a strategic point connecting the Black Sea and the Aegean Sea. Katakoi, located along the southern shores of the strait, was an important Greek colony in ancient times. Under the control of the Roman Empire, the area around the Istanbul Strait became an important trade route. Along the strait, many Roman forts and defense mechanisms were constructed. Additionally, Constantinople, the capital of the Roman Empire's eastern branch known as the Byzantine Empire, was strategically positioned to ensure the security of the strait. Constantinople, located on the southern shores of the Istanbul Strait, served as the Byzantine Empire's capital during this period. Security along the strait and control of trade routes were of significant importance during the Byzantine era. Many forts, walls, and lighthouses were built along the strait for defensive purposes during the Byzantine period. With the conquest of Istanbul by the Ottoman Empire in 1453, the strait regained strategic importance. The Ottomans constructed many forts and defense mechanisms around the strait. Istanbul served as the capital of the Ottoman Empire for a long time and became the main route for trade. With the end of the Ottoman Empire, the history of the Istanbul Strait continued with the establishment of modern Turkey and the Republican era. One of the fundamental factors in the formation of the Istanbul Strait is the tectonic movements resulting from the collision of the Eurasian and Anatolian plates. These movements led to some areas rising while others sank over time. Changes in sea levels during geological processes played a significant role in the formation of the Istanbul Strait. In the past, when sea levels were higher, there was a larger body of water between the Sea of Marmara and the Black Sea. However, with the melting of glaciers and the decrease in sea levels, this area filled with land, resulting in the formation of the strait. Rivers also played a significant role in the formation of the strait. In the current location of the strait, 
there used to be a stream or river, which, over time, deepened valleys and depressions, contributing to the formation of the strait. As a result of tectonic movements, while the northern shores of the Black Sea rose, the southern shores of the Sea of Marmara sank. During this process, the landmass that played a critical role in the formation of the present-day Istanbul Strait rose, and as water flowed towards sea level, a strait was formed. In the Istanbul Strait, there are generally surface currents that flow. These currents usually flow southward, extending from the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara. This current allows the salty and cold waters of the Black Sea to mix with the warmer and saltier waters of the Sea of Marmara. In the depths of the strait, there may be deeper and denser currents flowing in the opposite direction of the surface currents. The speed of the currents in the Istanbul Strait can vary depending on various factors and may differ in different regions. However, generally, the current speed in the Istanbul Strait varies between approximately 1.8 to 3.7 km per hour on average. Weather conditions such as wind and air pressure can affect the current speed in the Istanbul Strait. Particularly, tides and changes in sea levels can alter the current speed. Currents may be faster in narrow areas while slower in wider areas. Waters coming from the Black Sea typically have higher salinity levels. However, this salinity decreases as the waters mix with those of the Sea of Marmara and flow through the strait. The waters of the Sea of Marmara generally contain less salt, resulting in lower salinity levels in the strait when mixed with the salty water from the Black Sea. The climate around the Istanbul Strait is generally shaped by the interaction of the Mediterranean climate with the Black Sea climate. Summers are usually hot and humid. Temperatures often exceed 30 degrees Celsius in July and August. During this period, humidity levels are also high, and oppressive heat waves can occur occasionally. Winters are mild and rainy. Average temperatures typically range from 5 to 10 degrees Celsius in December, January, and February. Snowfall is rare, but occasional snowfall can cover the city briefly with a white blanket. Winds are often influential around the Istanbul Strait. Especially, the northerly Poiraz and southerly Lodos winds are significant. Poiraz winds from the north usually bring cool and dry air, while Lodos winds from the south bring warm and humid air. The bridges over the Istanbul Strait are important transportation routes connecting the European and Asian continents of the city. The Bosphorus Bridge is the first bridge over the Istanbul Strait. Construction began in 1970, and it was opened to service in 1973. It has a total length of 1,560 meters and is constructed as a suspension bridge. It spans between Ortakoy on the European side and Baylor Bay on the Asian side. The Fatih Sultan Mehmet Bridge is the second bridge over the Istanbul Strait. Construction began in 1985, and it was opened to service in 1988. It has a total length of 1,510 meters and is constructed as a suspension bridge. The third bridge over the Istanbul Strait, the Yavuz Sultan Selim Bridge, is 1,408 meters long and has a total width of 59 meters. With a height of 322 meters, the bridge holds the title of the highest bridge in Turkey and Europe. The Istanbul Strait hosts many important historical structures bearing the deep traces of history. These structures carry the traces of various civilizations over thousands of years and are an important part of Istanbul's rich cultural heritage. Among the first historical structures along the strait are castles and fortresses. One of these castles is the Anatolian Fortress. Built before the conquest of Istanbul, the Anatolian Fortress, along with the Rumilai Fortress, was constructed to protect Istanbul. The fortress stands out with its stunning views and preserved historical texture. Another important structure is the Rumilai Fortress. Built by Fadi Sultan Mehmet during the conquest of Istanbul, the fortress, located on the European side of the strait, had a strategic position for defending the city at that time. Today, it attracts visitors with its historical atmosphere and commanding position over the strait. Along the Istanbul Strait, there are significant palaces as well. The most renowned of these palaces is the Dalmabas Palace. Constructed in the final years of the Ottoman Empire, this palace was used as the residence of Ottoman sultans and later as the residence of Turkish presidents. With its European style and magnificent interior, it is one of the symbols of Istanbul. 
The Istanbul Strait hosts a rich marine life. These marine creatures vary depending on factors such as the strait's salinity levels, currents, and food sources. Many different fish species can be found in the strait. Commercially important fish such as anchovy, sea bass, sea bream, mullet, and bluefish are abundant in the strait's waters. Shellfish such as crabs and lobsters are also common in this area. The Bab el Mandeb Strait, on the other hand, is located off the eastern coast of Africa and the southwestern coast of the Arabian Peninsula. The strait lies between Djibouti to the west of Yemen and the coasts of Eritrea. It passes between the Ethiopian highlands in northeastern Africa and the Tihama Plateau in the southwestern Arabian Peninsula. It is approximately 32 kilometers long and widens to up to 29 kilometers. The depths of the strait vary but generally exceed 100 meters. It is located at a point where the continental shelves of Africa and the Arabian Peninsula meet. Geologically, it is an area where the African Plate and the Arabian Plate, which constitute the Arabian Peninsula, face each other. Therefore, it can vary due to tectonic activity. The strait is the main route from the Red Sea to the Indian Ocean, making it of great strategic importance for international maritime trade. Additionally, a significant portion of the world's oil trade also passes through this strait. The seas surrounding the strait have a rich marine biology and ecosystem. Coral reefs, marine mammals, and various fish species are found in the region. The Bab el Mandeb Strait is a geographical area of great geopolitical, economic, and environmental importance. Therefore, stability and security in the region are closely monitored by the international community. The Malacca Strait, on the other hand, is a waterway located in Southeast Asia, between Malaysia and Indonesia to the north. Geographically, the Malacca Strait separates the Malay Peninsula from the island of Sumatra, connecting the Indian Ocean to the South China Sea. The geographical location of this strategic waterway is of great importance for the region's trade routes and maritime transportation. The location of the Malacca Strait ensures that it is a major route for world maritime trade. This strait is considered a transit route through which more than 40% of trade in the Asia-Pacific region passes. Exports from countries such as China, Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan, as well as raw materials such as oil from the Middle East, reach global markets by being transported through the Malacca Strait. This strait plays a critical role in controlling and securing maritime routes in the region as it connects the Indian Ocean to the South China Sea. Additionally, the Malacca Strait is part of the strategic sea routes between the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. The length of the Malacca Strait is approximately 800 kilometers, covering the distance from the western coast of the Malay Peninsula to the eastern coast of Sumatra Island. The width of the strait may vary in different areas, reaching up to about 2.8 kilometers at some points while being wider in others. The depth of the Malacca Strait can also vary, reaching up to 25 meters in some areas while containing shallower areas at other points. Since ancient times, the Malacca Strait has been used as a significant trade route, forming part of trade routes stretching from the Indian Ocean to China. In ancient times, the Malay and Sumatra Islands in the region were home to various kingdoms and trade centers. During the Middle Ages, the Malacca Strait served as a vital trade route from the Indian Ocean to China. Ships passing through the strait facilitated trade between different regions of Asia by carrying spices, silk, porcelain, and other valuable goods. In the 15th century, the Malacca Sultanate gained control of trade in the region. The strategic location of the Malacca Strait made the city one of Southeast Asia's most important trading centers. However, in 1511, with the capture of Malacca by the Portuguese, the sovereignty in the region changed. From the 16th century onwards, it attracted the interest of European colonial powers. Following the Portuguese, the Dutch and the British began to control the region. During this period, the strait gained even more importance as a trade route and became a strategic military base. In the 20th century, it became one of the main arteries of international maritime trade. The security and free passage of the strait are ensured through cooperation between international maritime security organizations and the countries in the region. Ships passing through the region carry exports from leading Asian countries such as China, Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan, as well as raw materials such as oil from the Middle East. 
This creates an important logistical chain for the world economy and serves as a strategic transit point for global oil transportation. Oil tankers leaving the Middle East use the Malacca Strait to transport oil to Asia and other parts of the world. Therefore, security and free passage in the strait have a significant impact on global energy markets. The Danish Strait, on the other hand, is a strategic passage point located in the North Atlantic Ocean between Greenland and Iceland, connecting the Greenland Sea to the Erminger Sea, which is part of the Atlantic Ocean. This strait is located near the Arctic Circle and is part of important sea routes in the North Atlantic. Geographically, it can be defined as a narrow passage between the western coast of Greenland and the southeastern coast of Iceland. The location of the Danish Strait has a significant impact on the region's maritime transportation and trade routes. The strategic waterway of the Danish Strait, connecting the northern islands such as Greenland and Iceland to the Atlantic Ocean, has become a significant center for maritime trade and ship traffic in the region. Additionally, this strait facilitates maritime transportation between Europe and North America and forms part of the Northern Atlantic Route. The strategic location of the Danish Strait is also important geopolitically. Control over the strait can affect maritime traffic and security in the region and play a significant role in international relations. Therefore, various agreements and regulations regarding the status and use of the strait have been made among the countries in the region. The length of the strait is approximately 480 kilometers, with a depth of around 190 meters. During the Middle Ages, the Danish Strait became a vital center for trade and maritime activities in northern Europe. During this period, many port cities and trading centers were established along the strait. The strategic location of the strait influenced power dynamics in the region and became an area of competition among various kingdoms. It was a crucial part of trade routes in northern Europe, and many castles, ports, and lighthouses were constructed along the strait during this time. On the other hand, the Dover Strait is an important passage point separating England and France and located at the narrowest point of the English Channel. Geographically, this strait is situated at the point where the North Sea meets the Atlantic Ocean, stretching between Dover in southeast England and Calais in northeast France. The eastern coast of the strait is Dover Port in Kent, England, while the western coast is Calais Port in the Hauts de France region of France. The distance between these two coasts is approximately 34 kilometers at its narrowest point. The strategic location of the Dover Strait has historically been a significant transit point for military, commercial, and cultural interactions. It is the shortest sea passage between England and continental Europe and serves as the main connection between the North Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. This strait is the primary maritime transportation route between Western and Northern Europe and the United Kingdom. While the average depth of the strait is around 45 to 50 meters, it varies in specific areas, with greater depth particularly in the central parts of the strait. The formation of the Dover Strait is the result of millions of years of geological and geographical processes shaped by the interaction of the North Sea and the Atlantic Ocean between England and France. Millions of years ago, the lands of present-day England and France were part of a unified landmass known as Europe. However, geological movements and changes in sea levels separated this landmass, shaping the geography we see today. During the Ice Ages, the lands were eroded and sculpted by glaciers, and with fluctuations in sea levels, they underwent erosion. The current shape and location of the Dover Strait are the result of geological processes following the last Ice Ages, which led to rising sea levels and the separation of landmasses. As sea levels rose, the English Channel formed cutting off the connection between England and continental Europe. In this process, especially in areas with easily erodible rocks such as soft chalk and limestone, the erosion process accelerated, contributing to the formation of the Dover Strait. During the summer months, the weather is generally mild and cool, with temperatures typically ranging from 18 to 22 degrees Celsius. Sea breezes and cloud cover help balance temperatures, creating a cooler environment. In the winter months, temperatures usually remain moderate, ranging from 2 to 8 degrees Celsius on average. Moisture from the sea creates milder weather in winter, and extreme cold is rare in the region. The Dover Strait forms the main maritime transportation route between Western Europe, the North Sea, and the Atlantic Ocean. Therefore, the strait is a critical passage point for trade ships, passenger vessels, and the maritime industry.
Control over the strait has a significant impact on maritime trade and logistics activities in the region. It also plays a strategic role in energy trade and security, providing access to Europe's natural gas and oil pipelines and serving as a critical transit point for energy transport. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting scientific content.